And today's phase three trial is sponsored by Mast Therapeutics, a small little pharma company out in San Diego. And their drug is called Paloxmer 188, but everybody has heard of it as MST 188. And their trial is towards the end of its phase three. It started back in about 2013 and they expect to be done by the end of this year, but they're absolutely still recruiting patients. So how their drug works is um, a little bit more complicated than the last one I did, so I have a prop. Yes, a rotten banana. So this banana is going to act as a sickle cell. So sickle cells, when they deform, they, remember they start off as those nice round red blood cells, and then as those tactoids form, they turn into sickles. So this is going to be my example of a sickle cell. And as you see, all these bruises from banging up against things and from expanding, reoxygenating, and then sickling again and over and over, all of that damage. This is a really good illustration of all that damage. So actually what else happens, and I'm going to show you in a second, is that little chunks come off of the outside of the membrane. So in your red blood cells, there's actually two, two membranes, which is going to be like a wall to get to the inside of your cell. And um, think of it as like the door to your house and then the door to your room, which is kind of like what a red blood cell is like. So as it gets damaged over and over and over again, the outside of the red blood cell, that top lining that's nice and smooth, right? The outside of a banana is nice and smooth. Um, it gets kind of chunked away. So you've got these little, almost like little holes, right? And then if you remember the inside of a banana, if I take off the peel is really sticky, right? Well, that's just exactly how that second uh, door to the inside of your red blood cell is like two. So when these little holes come off the outside of the red blood cell, you're left with these little sticky gaps. And they talk a lot about stickiness of sickle cells. And this is the part that attracts the stickiness from the endothelium, which is that lining, the inside lining of the blood vessel sticks on to white blood cells, sticks on to platelets, just gets sticky and it's a hot mess everywhere. So what MST-188 is uh, theorized to do is it's one long chain and the middle of the chain is sticky just like this yay and then the outside is smooth it's actually watery but for this example we're going to call it smooth is smooth and it comes in and it finds those sticky places so the middle of the chain likes the really sticky places and it'll stick to what is similar to it so it'll stick here and then the outside is um, nice and smooth and likes water, just like the outside of your red blood cell, and it'll stay there and until your um, sickle cells have time to repair themselves, and um, then they start to unclump, and the pain crisis ends sooner. So that's the theory, is that all of these little MST-188 molecules will come and find all of the different sticky spots on the red blood cell, um, hang out there and cover it up while it has a time to uh, rebuild itself. And then they go off and find another um, spot on some other sick sickle cell and, until the crisis is over and then your body excretes it through the kidneys. So um, how this works is you have to be um, between the ages of four and 65. And you have to be in crisis and have one of the top four types of sickle cells. So SSSC, um, sickle beta plus or sickle beta zero, and you come into the hospital just like the last one we talked about, and you're in crisis, and um, you'll re either receive MST-188 through your IV in addition to your pain meds um, and all your other normal treatments. You'll receive that, or you will receive the placebo, which is the saline like we talked about um, before to get hydrated, which is the same stuff that they just give you when they give you a bolus. Um, and you receive that continuously for 49 hours, which I thought was a really interesting amount of hours, not 48, but 49. Um, their end point is that you will have a shortened um, crisis, and they hypothesis that the duration of your stay is four days. The last one we talked about was a little bit longer, five days. This time it's four days, and they're um, tracking how long your crisis is, how long it takes to transition over to oral pain meds instead of IV meds, and then how long your stay is. So that's MST-188. They also have a website. It's really convenient when people have other websites. This one is called theepicstudy.com, which is right below here. You can click on that. And that website actually can show you all the different sites that they have internationally. They have um, some a lot nationally. And then they have some in international sites, too. So this is not just for the United States. If you're in other countries, you can still participate and um, talk with your doctor about that. And then they also have a really nice video on the web, on the website. Um, theirs doesn't use a banana. It actually shows you like internally what it would look like. 
So hope that helps you guys understand this trial. Check us out on the web at hopeforuscd.org and post any comments or questions as well. Stay tuned for tomorrow. We're going to head into some phase two trials. Thanks. Bye.